Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports dropped an insane set of SBCs yesterday. Footy's content feels alive once again. And one of those SBCs specifically is crashing the market in ways that I don't know if I've ever seen an SBC impact the market. So we're going to talk about all of that, cover all of yesterday's content, look at the market, how it reacted, and look forward into today. Could there be good content coming? We know a little bit about content that's coming there already, but will there be anything to surprises. We'll talk about that and more and how we can maybe invest and prepare as we normally do on Saturdays in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We're going to start with objectives with some W draft objectives. Now, I know not, not a lot of you guys are going to want to grind all of this at this stage of the game, but once again, it's one of those stepped up objectives like it was with the monthly weekend league rewards with the cup last week where you get packs and players along the way. We have a premium Carlson. We've got an Adarillan Santos, a 94 pace center back that is Brazilian from the Portuguese league. We've got a Delaney card from Sevilla. And then, of course, at the very end, you've got a 95 rated Gakpo, five star, four star Liverpool left wing striker card. So I don't know if I'm going to play a lot of draft this week. Of course, you have to kind of mix in, at least for me, all the gameplay grind that I want to do right now. I'm trying to get the weekly stuff done. I got to play again with the Kavicha. And I guess technically, if you were to get Future Stars Kavicha in a draft, you would maybe be able to do like the win. I don't know if you'd win eight games. It'd be a lot of drafting, but I guess maybe pick Kavicha if you see a draft. You might be able to double up since that is any foot game mode. If you see that car, you might be able to score and win with him, and that would count towards this objective as well, uh, just to kind of say that. But that's a nice grindable objective there. And of course, Paul Scholes, one of the best free cards we've had in objectives in a really long time, and it's actually really easy to do. I just put in three English players into my foot champs team that I'm playing with right now, and I got two of these done super duper fast. It's very easy to complete, and guys, what a card. Honestly, for an objective card, four star, five star, you can play any of the central midfield positions, all above 92 stats on the face of the card. 99 shot power, long shots, and volleys. Great passing, great dribbling. And I love this little story in here. This is very interesting. Read this, guys. Paul Coles featured as a cover star icon. FIFA 2001, he was on the cover, right? This is a unique year as the disc featured a scratch and sniff feature, which allowed players to smell the pitch. What? Did not know that. That's kind of crazy. So some things you, le you learn about FIFA that you never would have known. Um, I'm sure that not too many of us played FIFA 2001, but I'm sure some of us did. And maybe you remember that, but maybe that was new information to you. So nice objective there, of course, for Paul Scholes. But that kind of uh, description there definitely gave me a laugh. Now, yesterday, the SBC content is really what kicked things off and took footies to another level. Not one, but two player picks. That 93 plus player pick that we were looking for last week on Wednesday, it finally dropped. 86, 87, and 88 requirements. Team of the week or team of the season required. A lot of those players are going up on the market. We're going to talk about that in today's video a good amount as well. I like this player pick. I did it once yesterday. I got absolutely shafted from it. I didn't get anything good. This includes footies team ones, two, and three. So Neymar, Messi, and Ronaldo could pop out of this, but not Mbappe. But it is a one of four, and it does include only shapeshifters and footies cards. Now, for the price of this one, it's coming in at 240,000 coins, and this one actually has a higher upvote percentage than the other player pick that is out right now, the 90 plus. And I think the reason that it does is because it's 93 plus and it gives you better players. You have, a high, you have a better chance of packing an insane card from footies or from shapeshifters. I think that's the reason why. It's repeatable two times before it um, goes away. It says expires in four days, which is a short time frame. Very interested to know as to why that is. I guess that would probably lead us up into this next Wednesday when it could release once again on the normal 93 plus schedule. So maybe that's why. But this is a really interesting player pick as well. The 90 plus, so lower rating guaranteed. It includes team of the season. Season, tots moments shapeshifters but it also includes premium and regular footies cards from teams one two three and four guys from this 90 plus tots shapeshifter or footies player pick you could technically pack players that are in packs as of yesterday for footies team four so the 99 mbappe the lucio uh i actually just kidding not the lucio because it dot it does not include footies heroes but uh park g sung o block coutinho klaus Alaba, right? Those are all players, along with all the other footies players that have dropped in packs that are premium 
or regular versions, those are packable from this player pick too. So only a 30% upvote from this. I think it's because it's the price and a lower guaranteed rating. And the fact that the weight can't be that amazing on this. But still, that's an SBC that I want to do throughout the rest of this week. Especially since I'm done now with the Dino grind. This is a fun SBC that I would want to do. At least having a chance at somebody like Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar. And some high level tots and shapeshifter cards in a player pick. That's a fun one there. A little bit expensive because it is, again... Not going to give you the best players all the time, but at least you get a team of the season out of it and you could hit something good there. So that's an interesting one. And then we get to the player SBCs, right? Oh, we also had a draft token upgrade as well to kind of go along with um, all the draft tokens you maybe need to be completing that objective. So that's nice. And then Wayne Rooney, very, very expensive card here. Five star, five star. We got the card that we wanted, but it's not the price that we wanted by any means. 27% upvote on Footbin because this SBC is coming in right now. 1.9 million coins. That's kind of a hefty price tag. I mean, yes, Dino was expensive. Yes, Roberto Carlos was a bit expensive, but I did not expect Rooney to be this expensive. Guys, you're really, it's it's the Rooney tax, right? It's the Rooney tax. It's the Prem tax. It's the, you know, the English tax, whatever you want to call it. I think this SBC is literally a million coins too expensive, more than a million coins too expensive. But for a lot of you guys, it's emotional. It's one you just got to get into your club because it is Wayne Rooney, who's on the cover of FIFA for so many years. And uh, as it says here, the longest serving cover star in FIFA history. That's 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 a pretty hefty title to carry. And uh, he's a legend for, for sure. And that's why he's got an icon card. But that is a very, very expensive SBC. If you want to craft it, go for it. Do it. But for me, it's too expensive. I'm probably going to pass on that one because a better SBC in terms of value for impact, I think, for a lot of people's clubs is right here beside him. Marcus Llorente, center mid. Now, when EA first dropped this SBC yesterday, it was not a premium footies. It was a regular one. And it said premium footies on the SBC description. They changed it a couple hours afterward. It is now a premium card. All we're waiting on is the dynamic image. Guys, this might be one of the craziest SBC players. I know it's the end game. It's August. We should be getting players like this. I get it. But man, 97 pace, no card stat on the face below 92 with 92 shooting, 98 shot power, great passing, great dribbling. And he's just, again, one of those players. We were talking about it earlier on this week with some of the SBC players that were dropped. He's just one of those players that is always overpowered and good in game. And this card right here is single-handedly coming in at a 340,000 coin price uh, cost and a 94% upvote. People know this guy's good. He's single-handedly crashing not only center mid prices, his base position, but also prices of right backs on this game as well. Because a lot of people, I think, are doing this Urente and playing him at right back. Take a look at this. Captavia from, or sorry, not Captavia, Carvajal Hall from 313,000 coins all the way to 200k. Now he's back up just a little bit, but also Kessie, another La Liga midfielder, a La Liga player that is down from, what was he yesterday? 820k. He dropped in half, man. He almost dropped completely in half, bounced back up a little bit because he is a rare card, but that is the effect this Marcus Rente is having on this market because so many people are doing him. And they're just putting him in their teams, inserting him straight in. A lot of La Liga squads, of course, could use this chemistry with the premium links. This, guys, is an insane, insane SBC. And that is why it is so upvoted. Because people know that, A, the price is good. And, B, um, yeah, the, the player in game is going to be phenomenal. I mean, imagine how much this card would be on the market. I can't imagine that it would be too much more. Um, I do imagine that it would be more than the SBC cost. I think it would probably like five, 600,000 coins. Uh, just because it's Marcus Rente and he's always overpowered in FIFA and it's a premium item. So that's a really insane SBC that we had yesterday. It is making some cards go up in price. Um, some of your other La Liga players, I mentioned Captavia earlier on accident thinking about Carval Hall, but Captavia is up in price a lot. This card was, um, I think, like 360, 370,000 coins. He's now touching 500K as a lot of people have buy, bought this card to go out and help their squads get chemistry with the Urente. Uh, so he's up big there. But really what's been happening on this market in total is not just center mid and not just right back prices are being hurt by this um, 
your red tape being dropped. Guys, look at the rest of the market. Look at Marco Royce. Marco Royce went from 490,000 coins down to 370. I saw another price drop off yesterday. Rafael Varane, his Tots Moments card just like dropped off 100K or something like that. Same thing with the Neymar, the Cristiano Ronaldo. The market yesterday it wasn't quite 100K for Varane, but from 190 down to 150, um, a lot of these cards are down bad. It's just like the whole market yesterday with how good content was just did this. Neymar from 940, boom, all the way down to 820. He's back up a little bit. A lot of the market is down, guys, because of the combination of a great player SBC and great other SBCs out in this game that have got people really interested um, in going and get these SBCs on. It's draining a lot of coins off of the market. And yes, fodder is going up because of it, specifically because of the Urente and these player pick SBCs. Fodder did have a really nice spike yesterday. So if you traded in and out of that, GG's, especially with Team of the weeks guys team of the weeks were rising actually into content and they went up even further all of them were about thirty thousand coins yesterday i don't even remember what tots cards went up to the tots cards were 30k they were 33k before content and right now they're about 37k so again these card prices are up a lot i would have to say as well i could imagine them going higher today because once again an unlimited repeatable 90 plus tots or shapeshifter player pick or footies and i believe there is a team of the week requirement inside of that SBC, but the 93 plus is still there. The 85 times 10 is still there. The 84 times 10 did go away, but the 85 10 still there. Yeah, there's a team of the week or team of the season requirement in that. Basically, every big SBC they're putting out right now has that in it. So fodder was a really good place to trade yesterday, but as we see some of those prices right now, they're down again. We're going to talk about investing in those in just a minute, but on the other side of things, in terms of the players in packs, of course, yesterday we talked about that 99 rated Mbappe. Man, we have a nice set of players in packs right now. Of course, the Mbappe is extinct. It's not even worth searching for him. Extinct at 15 million coins. But some of the other players that are in this promo team, a David Alaba, a footies card for Alaba. He's 900,000 coins. I mean, yes, this card is not lengthy because of the agility boost to this item, but the ability to play center back, center defensive mid, and left back what a card here for Alba. Absolutely insane item, um, especially with the La Liga links that have been going on right now. Great card there. And I love the prices on some of these cards. Um, not necessarily Oblak. I think Oblak is still a bit overpriced, guys. But this guy moved so much yesterday. It was crazy how much his price fluctuated with the Yorente SBC being out. We finally got a footies goalkeeper. This card was needed. I haven't tried him out. 57 speed. I'm used to using Ali Sun, uh, who's got a ton of speed. And also Kyle Walker right now with the English foot champs games that I'm trying to play for Paul Scholes. Um, I have to imagine that this card fits into a lot of people's teams right now, and he actually seems decently packable. But finally, we get a footies goalkeeper. Some other cards to mention. A great set of heroes. I mean, if we would not have gotten a Marcus Urente yesterday that was just super crazy good in terms of price and the card in game. I mean, I cannot imagine this Park Ji Sung would be uh, cheaper than he is right now if we did not have a, a Urente yesterday. This card is insane. 140,000 coins. We know how good Park Ji Sung is in FIFA, right? His other cards this year have been phenomenal. High, high work rates, four star, five star, center mid, right mid, left mid, or left wing. Absolutely incredible stats. Doesn't have a ton of traits, but that's a fantastic card. Guys, I think EA did a great job with this team uh, that is in packs. You got a great mix of like really overpowered, cheaper players, but also some really insane top tier players as well. You got Lucio with a crazy boost all the way up to 98 plus 8 pace, 12 dribbling and 10 passing. Of course, no longer lengthy on this Lucio version as well. Uh, compared to his Trophy Titans. You've got a Dina Talley card that tore me up in a game of Weekend League yesterday. You've got a Klaus that is probably going to be one of the best right backs in the game, of course, with the French League One links. That's going to be an insane card. You've got Javi Simons, who might be the most, um, I guess, confusing one to me. I don't know why they made his work rates medium high. I feel like either high high or high medium would have been a little bit better, especially because his Team of the Season card, what were his work rates here? Yeah, his work rates here were high medium. So, they did uh, transfer him to um, Leipzig, but I'm just confusing the work rate change for the Javi Simons card. I think that makes his card a little bit less usable, in my opinion, uh, right there. And I got to say as well, as a part of this promo team, this Coutinho card looks absolutely sick. I mean, what a card. Um, definitely needs a bit of a pace boost with a chemistry style, but Coutinho cards are always fun to use. He's still explosive at this stage of the year. 
A guy that is explosive, what's his strength? 71 strength, of course, with just about maxed out agility and balance. That's going to be a fun card to try out as well. And guys, as we normally see with these promo cards, I would expect to see a bit of movement and fluctuation on them today on Saturday. Maybe some prices going up as a couple of these guys are pretty rare. Uh, Di Natale is how much right now? 1.19. I've seen these guys fluctuate a lot. Coutinho yesterday was 300K. He's now up at 400,000 coins. Alaba's card fluctuates a ton in price i would have to say just like we normally see on saturdays you'll probably see some prices go up early in the day and then probably drop off as we always do see uh later into the day on saturday look at this alaba literally just was 900k but he's always so rare always a great card to trade with david alaba when he gets promos and special cards because they're always super rare so watch out with those today be careful with those but I'm happy with the cards that are in packs. And it feels like they're packable as well based off of a lot of their prices, especially on the middle to low tier. Like that Alaba, the Di Natale being as cheap as they are. I know it's August, but I'm a fan of it. So GG's EA. I think it was a really solid day of footies content yesterday with all the SBCs, the objectives, and the team impacts that we got. Now, that's a lot about yesterday. Let's tune into today. What is happening on this game today now we do have one leak at the moment and i want to talk about that because yesterday there was another cover star icon that was added to the mix right this was tweeted before content of course we have rooney skulls we have yorente and mbappe but jobby lonzo shevchenko we know about we'll talk about those in a minute rui costa was another cover star icon that was leaked added to kind of a leaked list of cards. Um, again, another kind of like fodder icon, if you will, not an icon that gets used all the time in terms of FIFA gameplay for most people. Very interested to see when that comes out, have no idea, could be a, an SBC, could be an objective. We will have to see, but one of those we do know about is coming today and that is Javi Alonso, of course, as a part of the XP challenge. Javi Alonso SBC is gonna be coming out today on the 12th of August, Saturday. And my question is, Think about the last couple of Saturdays on this game. What have we gotten SBC-wise? We've gotten hero SBCs, right? We've had the Cahill. Um, I actually forget who we had last week. Um, I don't remember who it was that we had last week. Harry Cool. We had Harry Cool as well. We had Joe Cole. So I think those have been our SBCs on Saturdays for the past few weeks. Uh, looks like we could be getting another one of those today, or will Jabi Alonso replace that? That's my biggest question. Will it actually be a quiet day of content Besides the Javi Alonso, that's the biggest SBC to watch out for. And again, like they've been juicing up all these cover star icons, that Javi Alonso with stats like this, he might even have higher stats. I mean, the, the 95 that they gave Skulls in this prediction, the Skulls card that was released was way better uh, than this one. So maybe this Javi Alonso is going to have a really insane boost on it as well. I hope that it does, and I hope the price is just decent. That's the biggest thing for me today is a decent pr price, please. For Javi Alonso. Now, other SBCs that could drop today, I wouldn't expect too much else. No upgrade packs are expiring that I would expect to refresh. And we have so many upgrade packs right now. I don't even know what else EA would add into the mix. And maybe they wait until like Sunday, Monday for adding more of those upgrade packs. So it might just be the Javi Alonso SBC today. Maybe another footies player SBC. We will have to see. But with all of that being said, we got to talk about investing and investing in some fodder because once again it is a saturday and some of these prices are about as low as we've seen them in a couple of weeks 84s and 85s and 86s are back down here not pog but pog was always one of those 85s it's a little bit more expensive so is nabry i'm realizing this as i'm searching them up let me search for somebody like patrick schick now we're talking an 85 that is usually pretty cheap uh, 85s right now? Well, at least Footbin's telling me they're 4.5k, but Footbin might be capping. I don't know. Footbin says that all these 85s are 4.5k, but the actual market is telling me otherwise. That's a really low price for 85s. It's been a minute since 85s were that low. All of last week, of course, these guys went to 8k uh, a week and a half ago. All of last week, even they were 6 to 7k. And you have to go back, wow, I mean, like even two or three weeks ago, they were 5,000 coins. They're four and a half right now. That's very, very low. Worth the club stock 100% in my opinion, because once again, what do we have? Good content right now. We've got two different player picks that people can be doing. We've got great player SBCs that people are crafting up. Um, and we're probably going to get, you know, more SBCs later on this week. We still have an 8510, 87 plus player pick. There's an Mbappe. It's in packs right now. There's a Lucio. There's a Di Natale. People are going to be going after the SBCs, guys. We're getting more icon SBCs that are coming out each and, you know, at least today and maybe more coming after that. 
it's a great time right now, in my opinion, to be stocking up some fodder, whether it's for the SBCs you want to do or for a little bit of an investment. Of course, it could go like it did last week, right? Last week, fodder didn't really move that much, but also the, the SBC content wasn't that great. So with that being said, hopefully with the way this week has started, there's going to be a lot more demand throughout these next couple of days and fodder prices for these cards will actually end up trending up more throughout the week. But since the high rateds are so low, like look at 89s. 89s are 11, 12K. Um, 90s are 16 to 17K. 91s are 21,000 coins. I like that middle to low tier once again, because what do you struggle with packing right now the most? The middle to low tier. You open up those random, you know, 87 plus player picks, and what are you getting? You're getting an 89, you're getting a 90. You, uh, you're you hitting fodder cards because of the best of batch two that is in, but what do you need to fill out the rest of the SBC that you're doing? 83s to 86s. So if I was going to invest in fodder, I would do a club stock in those areas specifically. It's hard to tell what rating would go up the most because fodder is down across the board. But with good content like this, I like 83s, I like 84s, I like 85s and 86s because those are the ratings of the cards that you will need to complete some of the rest of the SBCs that are out right now. So I like a club stock there. And then I'm continuing to trade and just watch team of the season cards, guys, and team of the weeks because they move, they fluctuate every single day. Now, again, what we talked about and what we saw last week was be very careful on Sundays because uh, I know it's tomorrow, but it's worth saying ahead of time that a lot of the team of the week prices last week and team of the season prices as well really dropped on Sunday when they dropped squad battle rewards out. Uh, remember, we were looking at prices like last week, and some of those guys went from like 40,000 coins down to about 30K. I don't know if it'll be that drastic of a drop this week because we have better content, but uh, those are going to be prices that are moving. These cards sell great to lazy sales, and they fluctuate day in and day out. Just check the graphs on Vubin. You can make some really good coins flipping those cards. And also watch the footies cards, right? We looked at that Alaba, who's always very rare. Uh, some of the cards that are out of packs are moving good. Uh, this Coutinho one was one that yesterday moved really, really good. So keep an eye on those footies cards. Keep an eye on the fodder market. Good luck if you're grinding weekend league, if you're uh, grinding the draft, anything right now. There's a lot to do on the menus, but it also is August. If you're like, nah, Nate, it's not for me. If you're like, I got the beta code, I'm grinding the beta to each their own. But right now, there is a decent amount to do. One last thing I'll say for today on Saturday, watch the store packs. Um, we could have a couple of those store packs added. We got one pack. Uh, the Sweeping Stars pack, there was a better one that was dropped yesterday uh, in the code. It did not drop in the game. It was like the Ultimate Sweeping Stars, or whatever it is. It's got 85 players in it. If that pack is tradable, that could bring a lot more supply to the store too. So watch out for maybe that 250 players pack coming back today as well. If people say that there could be an opportunity to keep grinding the 400k pack method, if that's true, that might have some more impact on fodder prices and um, other prices and the supply of footies team for on the market. So just be careful with that today as well. But hopefully it's a good Saturday of content. Hopefully EA surprises us with something decent. But man, yesterday was a W day with a lot to do in this game and some W cards that were dropped. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace. Out.